Okay, so we'll look at Unravel at 21 by 9. Now, side scrollers are far from a standard in my gaming life, but I have played a good few and have enjoyed many of them. This sadly just wasn't one. But before I go on, let's cover the important info on how it runs at 21 by 9. Straight away, I can say before you start the game, turn off Origin's in-game overlay. It spazzes the game out to no end, like you can see in the background. Seriously, what the hell is going on? How can a game created just for EA not work on their own software? I don't know. Anyway, the bad news continues for ultra-wide users. The game has zero native support for 21x9 and literally just black bars everything. However, thankfully we have hex hacks to fix our lives. Follow the steps I have in the description. Just requires one download, a search for a string of letters and numbers and replacement of those characters and you're off. But yeah, as I say, full details in the description. Now, once you have sorted the technical side out, either at 2560 by 1080 or 3440 by 1440, the game will correctly run at an ultra wide view. The gameplay fully scales to show off more of the world in front and behind the woolly monster. The HUD is basically non-existent with just hints in the world appearing and these work correctly. You don't fail to see stuff due to any kind of zooming which is great. CGI cutscenes are still 16x9 with black bars but the in-game cutscenes are 21x9 with no zooming or other issues to mention. Now the main menu is ultra wide with the text centered on screen. For me it also just briefly starts with the text on the left and then it sort of glitches out for a moment and then jumps to the center after a second. But yeah, it works fine. However, the in-game menus are at the other end. They're a bit messed up. They have text showing up on the left and right of the screen with it sort of half cut off on both sides. But the menu items you want to navigate, they're more center. They're not centered, but they're usable and they just work correctly. So you can get done what you want. They just look a bit weird. Finally, when zooming in at pictures when selecting a level, it fades the sides of the screen to black, which is better than stretching what are essentially 4x3 pictures to 21x9, which, well, it just would have been comical. Now, performance-wise, I firstly noticed it seemed to be capped at 80, which is weird, but really it's not the end of the world, it's still very high, but it's just annoying having an FPS lock, especially for something like this, which is easy enough to hit very high FPS levels. Now, gameplay-wise, I don't know, I haven't played a massive amount of it, and... Really, it's because I was just bored. The gameplay isn't exciting or engaging. Whilst people keep talking about the graphics, honestly, they aren't anything amazing. After playing things like Rise of the Tomb Raider, it's hard to be blown away by these graphics. Not to say that they're bad, it's just nothing special. But the important part, the gameplay, it's just repetitive. I wasn't interested in the story and honestly felt depressed playing it as the music is such a melancholy background to some old woman's life that I can only surmise as a story of you trying to help her dementia or something. Just <laughs> really not the kind of thing I want to come back from work and play. But at the same time, it's only £14, so it's not a full price game, and so I shouldn't demand a full price set of content. But the fact is, it's competing against full price games for my attention, and it just simply fails to grab it. But yeah, let me know what you think. Maybe you guys have had a different experience with it, I genuinely would like to know. And I hope this video has given you some information on how the game runs at 21x9. Give this video a like if you found it helpful, and subscribe for future info. For any other games at 21x9, head over to my channel, hopefully I've covered it. If I haven't, then leave a comment down below and I'll try and cover it. See you later.